But these images are actually from the JWST. And the JWST has these spectral telescopes and cameras on it, so it can look at things like the infrared spectrum and all that. It's also, with, with it being so good in the IR spectrum, in the infrared spectrum, it's really good at picking up very distant galaxies. And so with JWST, you can look 12 billion years, 13 billion years into the past to see these. Oh my God. And then I believe B, B and C are look at, B, C and D are looking at H2O, CO2, and CO, and looking at how they are basically coming off of this. And what you'll notice on there is all these other comets that are native to the solar system, they fall along that line. But this one, and there is one other, <laughs> this one is way outside of it. And it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio of carbon dioxide to water. In fact, what they found is that it's got to be cranking out about, I believe it's 150 kilograms per second. But for it to be so high in carbon dioxide, what that means is that it had to have been formed beyond the carbon dioxide ice line in its original solar system.